Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the view child decorator in the Angular. So this is one of the key feature available in the Angular. Let's try to learn about this one. So the complete concept about the view child, we'll try to learn it. The view child decorator is a key feature in Angular that allows the components to directly access the DOM element or direct to instances or other components within their template. So this access is crucial for manipulating the element or invoking the methods on the component or direct to, inst direct to instance. So that is the main thing. So for example, let's say that if you are having any element, for example, in our HTML, so this is our element, right? So P element is there. So if you are having this type of P element and if you want to access this paragraph element into that directly, the component instance means then we can have a view child decorator. Not only the element, if you are having a component like a Python child or anything directly, the component element is there means that one also you can access using the view child. So the basic usage of this one is so how we can use this one is uh, let's try to create an uh, component for this one so that we can have it very easily. So I am creating ngGC view child example. Okay, so I will create the component so that we can have everything. So okay, this one is a PowerShell. Let's open the command prompt here. NGGC view child example. Okay. So let's create this one. And here automatically the node is running. So sorry, the Angular build is running. Now here let's go into this one. <coughs> so let it run. It will take some time to run. Let it run. So here the view child example has been installed. So now I can delete this one. So this is our node. And now if you go to our app.component.ts HTML file, so this is our app.component.html file and here I will comment out this one also so that now here, so here I will comment out this one, so here control KC, what is this one happening, okay, let's wait, so now it has been commented. Now let's go to the app.component.html app app.component.ts file okay i have opened this ts file so here i will be adding view child example component so here also i have added and let's go to the app.component.html file and here i will use do and here app iphone view iphone child iphone example okay so this is our component now i want to access this component so now here, let's go to our, uh, now there is no need for this one all. So let's go to the view child example component.ts file and also view child not HTML file. So these are the two files which I want to view, right? So here view child example works is there, right? So here we can have something like hash myref. Okay. So this is our myref. So that is one thing which I can do. So here you can have the access to the element ref of the specified DOM. So the basic example how we can access this one is. So let's go to our component.ts file and here I can use add rate view child. Okay. So this should be imported from the Angular core. And here I can have my ref. Okay. And here my ref. Uh, it is of type element ref. Okay. So you can give something like element ref. That's it. So now this should also be imported from now here if I keep it like this that's it now we are able to access this one so if you want to access this one is so there are a couple of ways to use this one so if you want to access this one is so where we can access one is so for example let's say that I am using in the ng on in it okay ng on in it now if I want to access this one so if I try to type this dot my ref if I try to do console.log this dot my ref if I try to see this one in our inspect element if I do the inspect element here and in this experiment in this inspect element and it is coming is undefined why because so this ng on init lifecycle hook will be initialized when as soon as the angular component instance this app view child component instance has been created so this one when the template is has been initialized successfully initialized then only we can able to access this this dot my ref so then that means where we need to access this one, the exact lifecycle hook where we need to access this one is ng after view initialization. So when after the view initialization is happened, then you need to access this one. So now you will be able to see element ref is available. Now if I want to get this one means dot native element 
डॉट टेक्स्ट ओके सो मेरी और नर एच टी एम वन आई डोंट नो सो विच वन वी नीड टू गेट ओके सो यूल सी इनर एच टी एम एल आई टू डोंट नो सो वेदर वी कैन एबल टू गेट इट आर नॉट सो नो हियर वी आर एबल टू गेट दिस इनर एच टी एम एल आर इनर टेक्स्ट आर इनर एच टी एम एल विच एवर इट मे बी सो हियर लाइक दिस वी कैन एबल टू गेट इट सो द बेस्ट प्लेस इज दिस वन सो नॉट ओनली दिस so there is there is also an options in this view chain so the options is nothing but there is also a second option that is nothing but second argument which is an options object the most commonly used option is the static so here it should be static true or false so here like this object and in this one first one will be static true so when you are trying to keep this one as a static true you are telling the to the angular that this one is a static element this is not conditionally rendered so you are telling that the child view child is resolved before change detection runs and its value will not change over time this is necessary for accessing the child in life cycle hooks like ng on init now if you are trying to access it now this one we can able to access in the ng on init so now here if i try to paste the same thing ng on init console.log ng on init okay now we will be able to access this one in the ng on init only see here we are able to access this one in gn init why because when you keep the static as true you are telling that it is it will not change over time so it is a direct one if you keep the static as a false means then you are telling that the element or the component might not be present at the time of the first change detection run or if its presence is conditional the view child will then be resolved after a change detection okay so this one this one if you try to keep the false means then you will be able to get this one as an undefined so we will not able to get it why because in the next change direction we are assuming that it will be present so here what we need to do here in this scenario in here we need to write this one so this is the correct method okay so this is one way now so what is the use cases for this view child so where we can use it so for this is used mainly for accessing the dom element for direct dom manipulation animations or measurements we will be use it interacting with the child components calling methods or accessing properties of a child components for example if you are having a component let's say that i will try to explain you another one also so here if you are having a component or something like this so here you are having a component let's say that uh, what is the component we are having let's see the components which we are having uh, check to life cycle counter get input hover click we'll try to take this hover click okay uh, for this one what we need to do in the imports we need to add hover click component okay and here we can directly use app python hover python click okay so we have used directly this one so here we are able to see this hover click so this one is working now for this one you can keep um over component so i can add it like this for this component and here in our ts file so we can keep at the rate view child i will try to close this one yeah at the rate view child and here i can take it something like like this hover component and here also i can write hover component and this is of type hover component hover click component okay so like this you can you need to mention here here this time this one is not an element ref this one is an hover click element now if you try to see here so hover component hover component now let's try to use this one and here also you try to use it like this native element now here you do you will not have any native element and all those things why because that is not an normal html element so here if you try to see let's refresh this space now here you will be able to see this one as a component so here you are having all the properties and all those things which are which ever is there in this one so here you will be able to see now if you want to access this method means you can directly able to access this one dot on mouse center now if you try to see here if i refresh this page see that one is automatically has executed and it is telling that on mouse center now it is uh, getting an uh, expression ha expression has been changed like this you are getting why because in in ng after view in it we are trying to change again the uh, what i want to tell you uh, i want to it is trying to change again the um, what i can say the state data so this one we will not use it when we are trying to change the state data so that one is the one, of, one of the important thing which you will need to understand we have already discussed in our previous video so like this we can also access the components not only the component we can also access the directives and all those things also so by working with the directive accessing an instance of a directive applied to an element also we can use it so that is one thing and we have learned about the static of this one also 
so life cycle consideration so the timing of the mutual is available depends on the static option so if the static is true means you can access the element or component on the ng or init if the static is false means it becomes available in ng after view unit or for components and directives so that is one thing so this is all the thing which i want to explain to you so that is all about this view chain thing and also we have another option also which i will try to discuss you in the next video with a simple example also i will try to show you so that you will have a clear idea about this view chain what i will do is i will commit this entire code in a new branch that is video hyphen 20 okay video hyphen 20 so here may be having doubts or anything if they want to so here may be having doubts or anything if they want to uh, so get means so if you have any doubts or anything please let me know so i'll be pro i'll be providing this github repository link in the description below you can have a take a look at that one so this one is a view chain okay and that's it guys about this one all so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you